What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So I get a lot of inquiries in my inbox about snook fishing. More specifically, the rod and reel that we recommend for snook fishing on the beaches during the middle of the summer. So today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about some of my suggested equipment, including the rod, the reel, the line, the leader, and a couple of my preferred lures. So I think you guys will appreciate what I'm saying. Now this is not for those jumbo snook. This is for your slot size snook or fish between 22 and 30 inches. This is gonna be an ideal setup. Now when we start moving into those big girls, which I can do another video on that, you're gonna need a lot heavier equipment. But let's come in a little closer. I'm gonna to talk to you about this reel. All right, so what I have here is the Akuma Azores 40S. Now this is the older model. The new model boasts over 28 pounds of drag and it's blue, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't have one yet but I plan on upgrading here in the near future. Now, this reel, one of the reasons I'd recommend this or their Okuma ITX is because they have great drag systems, they're super smooth, and especially the ITX is very light, so you can throw bucktails and not get tired. Now, this one's gonna be a little bit heavier, but it's got a nice five to eight, five eight to one gear ratio so it's fairly it's got a good retrieve not too fast not too slow it's got that nice in-between speed that I prefer now a lot of this is going to be preference but I'll tell you this is going to do a number on those big snook or those medium-sized snook and they're going to be fun in that open water on the surf and that's the thing guys you don't have to beef up your tackle when there's not a lot of structure when you're in the sand and it's just beach you have the freedom to downsize a little bit, and that's what I really enjoy. I love light tackle fishing personally. Now I'm gonna spool this with 15 pound test, Power Pro, or a braid of your choice, suffix. Um, heck, there's all kinds of different great lines out there that you could test and try. But 15 pound test braid, that's gonna do the trick just fine. Now what I found is my one of my new favorite rods as of now is the Akuma DTR. Now this Akuma DTR, what you want to get is you a nice seven foot medium action, medium fast action rod. And this is going to allow you to throw a number of different jigs. Like for example, this one will allow for a one eighth ounce all the way to a three eighth ounce. And you could go even a little heavier if you want to throw uh, up to like a one and a half ounce jig, you get a little heavier rod. But typically this is what I'm going to throw on the beach with the smaller bucktails and it's going to do just, just fine. You also notice guys on this particular reel, it's got a very heavy and thick gauge bail. I mean, you're gonna feel that that's, you know, when you're flipping that over, really has a lot of integrity. You don't feel like you're messing with something that's flimsy. It's just a solid reel. So when you hook into something big, you're not gonna, in your mind, think, wow, am I gonna lose this? Are the drag washers gonna burn up? Because the construction of this particular reel is very, very good. So if you have something with a 150 to 200 yards of line, you're pretty much gonna be set with that type of line capacity. You really don't need much more than that. I mean, unless you hook an absolute Mogan, this is gonna uh, suffice just fine. So make sure you get your reel, regardless of what um, brand it is, make sure you know it's at least a 4,000, 3,000 and make sure you have plenty of capacity so that way you're not getting spooled. The last thing you wanna do is lose a big fish just because you're extremely underpowered. Now, if your budget allows you, another consideration is, is the real mag sealed? Mag seal is gonna help eliminate and prevent a lot of that corrosion, especially at the surf, and even especially if you plan to actually get in the water and a lot of guys wade fish. If it's mag sealed, that's gonna help protect your bearings, protect the internal components of the reel. But keep in mind that like this reel, uh, I think it retails for like $130, $140. When you start getting into mag seal, you're usually gonna be in that 250 and up class. So just be sure that you know what type of budget you're looking at and what you're looking to spend. But this is gonna do the job just fine, guys. And as long as you're not out there dunking it and you rinse it after each trip, not gonna have any problems. Going back to the rod length, a seven, seven and a half foot rod uh, is gonna do the job perfectly. What you want, you wanna be able to really throw your lure a decent distance down the shoreline of the beach. 
So you don't want anything too short and you don't want a surf rod in my opinion. I mean, we're not trying to cast out into, you know, the oblivion where with this outfit, what you do when you're surf fishing, usually the beach stay or usually when you're beach fishing for snook, they like to stay up in that that little trough really close to the beach. And I matter of fact, if you take some nice polarized glasses like get you some Maui's and go out there around 11, 12 o'clock, you will actually see them swimming through people's legs. Most people don't even know they're there. But typically, they're within three to four feet from the surf itself. So make sure that you're fishing close and parallel to the beach and bumping that thing, this jig along as you know, you're casting and swimming it along the beach. You're not trying to throw it out 300 yards, so you don't need a 10-foot surf rod in order to get out there. That's a good little tip I could give you. Now, hands down, some of the best jigs, guys, that I prefer are the Spro jigs. I mean, check out the detail on this particular one. Now, this is a little guy, little quarter ounce Spro with a Gamagatsu jig. But check out the paint detail, even the, the head itself has all the lines and grooves. The paint, this looks very similar to a green bag. They've got the beautiful deer hair here along with the synthetic fibers to give it that flash. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. But really, one of the things that you're gonna really appreciate is the Gamagatsu hooks. They're always very thick gauge, very, very strong and durable and they're probably the sharpest hooks on the market, chemically sharpened, very strong. A couple of the lures that I highly recommend, like the Spro I just talked about. See this, got this uh, nice, the beautiful bucktail fur, super strong hooks. This is a one and a half, so it's considerably larger than that little one, uh, quarter ounce I just showed you. But the detail, the strength, you're not gonna lose a fish with these Spro uh, bucktails. I throw them all the time. Matter of fact, take a look at this clip here, last year, uh, beach fishing. Click it right up there on the corner there. You could take a look at that and see that what we were throwing there. Now also the Spro, mixed stick, 115. These are great little shallow, slow floaters. They're, they're shallow divers, so they're gonna go from zero to three feet, depending on how fast you retrieve the lure. But this Spro here works very good. I love the natural colors, usually like a green back, blue back, or even a black back with a um, transparent body. I got these in all kinds of different colors. They're gonna work super efficient. They make a lot of noise as well. Now this is a little half ounce model as well. But these two lures guys are really gonna get the job done. Some alternatives that are super effective out at the beach as well is the fly. Throwing a fly is probably one of my most effective techniques and they hardly ever turn them down. Small profiles and again you want to try to match the hatch too so that's something that you want to consider when you're out there is throwing um, bucktails or uh, you know stick baits that are the size of the profile of the bait that is swimming around the beach. So make sure you're aware of that, paying attention to that. You can also throw live greenbacks. Live greenbacks, uh, pinfish, Sometimes even like silver trout. I mean, now we're getting into bigger snook, but you could throw a live bait and be effective. Even live shrimp up on the surf will be effective. You just gotta fight through a lot of the smaller whiting and things like that that frequent the surf as well. So, some things to consider other than these bucktails and stick baits. So another thing guys I wanna mention beforehand is with the fishing line, I recommend a 30 to 40 pound leader and typically for snook fishing, you don't want to go anything less than that. You want to have the abrasion resistance and you don't want to lose fish uh, and have them cut off. So 30 to 40 pounds is going to do great. Other than that, these are the simple tools that you need to be effective on the beach when targeting snook, especially those 20 to 30 inch fish. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. Let me know, what do you like to use? Got something that I didn't mention? Let us know below. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.